Hello, Kenya. How are you? Can you hear me? Hello. Fine. Fine. Great. Excellent. Tell me. Uh, what did you do today? For what? I, I was to work you was today. To work, so you went to work. So how was your work today? It's relaxing. It was relaxing. Okay. Great. Excellent. That sounds good. Yeah. Yeah, what about your weekend? What did you do on your weekend? I go out with my friends. Uh -huh. You go out with friends. Okay, so where did you go? Oh, the party. Oh, the party, okay, great, excellent. And how was the party? Was the birthday to someone or only you go out at a party? Uh, the birthday. It was birthday. So who was the birthday? My my friend um Katali. Your friend Katali. Okay, okay, get it. Yes, great, excellent. So tell me, uh, what did you do in the party? Who was the party? Did you do something special? Maybe um. I don't know. I mm -hmm. dancing. You dance. Uh, eating pizza. I made pizza. Okay, very excellent. Mm. And the uh, and the and your friend blow up the um, the candles. Mm, no. No. So he was he has seen. Um. A cake. No, uh, I. She don't like the cake. She don't like cakes. Okay, that's a little weird, no? Yes. Okay. Okay, very good, excellent. By the way, we are going to start with what? So first. Tell me, do you have questions, comments about what we learned in the last class? No. Do you remember what we learned in the last class? Yes, use the will and going to in the future. Exactly. Now we check the future on. Uh, on <laughs> so, we are going to continue doing some activities. So, give me a second. We are going to take a little time by reading. So, I don't know where is it. Mm -hmm. Okay, get it. I'm going to share my screen. Give me a second. Can you see my screen? Yeah. Can yes. you read well? I think that is isn't a really good uh, definition of the letter, right? Right. Okay, let me check it out there. Other. Okay, yes, I get it. This is better. This is clear. I'm going to share it. Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. We have here a reading. Eat your plate. Cross circular focus life side. Okay, so we are going to try take time by reading. Okay, can you help me reading the first paragraph, please? Can you? Uh, yes. Um. The. The. Image is a uh, cut. Um, cortada. I'm 
going to try it again. Ya se ve. Yes, yes. Okay. So please help me with the first paragraph. The circulatory system. Uh, the circulatory system is the transport system of the human body. Your body is like a map, uh, life it with the food, uh -huh. with passageways of different size, sizes that the file with blood, arterias and veins are the body body's largest blood, blood vessels. Arteries carry oxygen rich rich blood from the lung and throughout the heart. So it can be delivered to all the cells on cells of the body. Bands carry carbon dioxide was back the back to the heart and into the lungs so the carbon dioxide can be exhaled and capillaries are the thinnest blood vessels. They are special special helpful in the especially helpful in the lungs where their gas Exchange, exchange take take place in the air. Uh, sex called uh, alveoli. Under in the microscope, alveoli look like grape um, grape cluster. Cluster. Okay, I continue reading. At the very center of the circulatory system is the heart. Your hair is about the same size as your face, but it's made of muscles. Its job is to pump your blood throughout all those blood vessels. It never stops working, even when you're sleeping. sleeping. It is the strongest muscle in your body. Your hair has four chambers or spaces inside it. They are the left and right ventricles and the left and right arteries. Each chamber is separated by a valve that allows blood flow, flow in only one direction. The opening and closing of the valve is what you can hear through a stethoscope when you visit the doctor. The blood being pushed through the bulbs is what you feel as your pulse. Continue, please. Uh, blood looks like a simple red liquid when you have a good script. That's only because your eyes cannot see what is going on inside the blood at the microscopic level. The raisin blood looks red uh, to to us in because it's contained an iron rich substance called hemoglobin. The hemoglobin holds blood to hold on to oxygen and carry it around the body. Hemoglobin is found in this shape. Cells, curly red blood cells. Uh, there are also with blue cells in, in our blood. There are a large that red blood cells and are important because they help, help us fight the age. Uh, platelets 
another kind of cell found on found on in your blood help us from scraps when we are injured so we don't lose too much blood all of the cells float in the liquid cells plasma plasma also carries sugar to cells and waste products away from cells okay so we talked about the circulatory system the circulatory system is the transport system of the human body okay your body is like a map fill with with passageways passageways of different size that are filled with blood blood arteries and veins are the body largest blood vessels arteries carry oxygen rich blood from the lungs and throughout the hair so it can be delivered to all the cells delivered to all the cells of the body um, car veins carry carbon dioxide carbon dioxide waste 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 back to the hair and the lungs and carry um, exhaled no so the carbon dioxide can be exhaled capillaries are the tiniest tiniest blood vessels as uh, helpful in the lungs cell space uh, take place in air sacs called called a belly to her i will sing thighs first yes but the muscles uh, but blood looks like a simple li liquid liquid uh, when you have a cutter a scrape mm -mm 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 -mm. to become the contents of iron resistant cold cold hemoglobin hemoglobin allows blood to hold on to oxygen and carry it around the blood, the body um there are also white blood, there are legends that turn cells and they're important because they help us to fight diseases. This uh, blood platelets, another <coughs> kind of cells found in our blood, uh, help us from scabs. Scabs. Uh, uh, when we are injured, so we don't lose, lose too much blood. Uh, all of the cells flow in a liquid called plasma. Plasma also carries sugar to cells and waste products away from cells. Ok, vale, entonces nada más esas eh, que recalqué más son las que te vayan un poco, vale? Ok. Este, este, más que nada la pronunciación es plot. Yo sé que la mayoría cuando tiene W se escucha como una U, pero en este caso es plot. ¿No? Vale. Yes. Um, hasta aquí tienes alguna duda o pregunta de lo que tiene aquí el reading de vocabulario vamos por párrafos en el primer párrafo dudas, preguntas lunch Vale, eh, bueno, some stuff ya lo habías visto. Ah, the cells, ah, ok, ya. Veins carry carbon dioxide waste back to the heart and into the lungs. So the carbon dioxide can be exhaled. exhaled. Entonces, si nos dice ¿no? que las arterias llevan ¿no? el, el oxígeno, a las, bueno, llevan, acarrean el oxígeno a la sangre de, ¿de dónde viene el oxígeno? ¿De dónde entra el oxígeno? ¿De dónde proviene? De los lungs. Pasa de los lungs a las arterias. ¿Cuál, cuál es ese, eh, 
¿Cuál es ese órgano que nos ayuda? Eh, pulmones. Ajá, entonces las arterias transportan el oxígeno, eh, la sangre dedicada en oxígeno de los pulmones y a través del corazón. Entonces este puede ser entregado a todas las células del cuerpo. ¿No? Yes. Ok, ¿any other questions? No. No. Ok, ¿qué tal la, la primera, no, la segunda línea? Dice, your body is like a map filled with passageways of different sizes that are filled with blood. ¿Qué nos dice toda esa oración? Eh, el cuerpo es como un mapa eh, de pasadizos eh, de diferentes tamaños Ajá. en los que eh, están llenos de sangre o tienen sangre. Ajá, exactamente, es pasadizos, pasadizos. Ok. Ok, yes. The clusters se dice under a microscope a building looks like great clusters. ¿Qué serían clusters? Clusters es... Um... Pero cluster es, es como intercambio. ¿Eh? Intercambio. ¿Cómo el qué? Intercambio. El intercambio. No, no exactamente. Dice, no, en la oración, ya lo tengo que meter. Dice, eh, bajo el microscopio, los alveolos serían como un racimo de arruga, ¿no? Cluster. Ah, ok. Ok. En, la, en el siguiente párrafo tiene dudas con todo esto. Chambers. Chambers. Ok, dice. Four chambers or pieces inside. No, tu corazón tiene alrededor. Ay, no, ya me perdí. Ah, ah ya. No, se le gira. Ah, ya. Yes. Tu corazón tiene cuatro chambers o espacios dentro de él. Chambers. ¿Qué, te sabe? ¿Qué, ¿Qué sería chambers? Se habla de los espacios que hay en el corazón. ¿Son cámaras? Ajá, cámaras. Exactamente, cámaras cavidades. ¿No? Entonces tiene cuatro cámaras o espacios dentro de él. Ajá. ¿Qué más? Nada más. Nada más. Vamos a ver. En la parte que dice, its job is to pump your blood through all whole blood vessels. ¿Qué nos dice toda esa oración? Es su trabajo bombear eh, sangre a todo um, mm. eso a oh, todas las eh. okay. 
¿Qué tenemos? ¿En dónde se transporta la sangre? En, en células, en hemoglobina. ¿Cómo se llaman los conductos donde pasa la sangre? Y venas, arterias. Ajá, vale, exactamente. En las venas, en las arterias. En este caso, el vaso se refiere en el vaso, ¿vale? a través de, de los vasos, vasos sanguíneos como tal. Se refiere a los dos, ¿no? A ah, ok. De las arterias. ¿Vale? Ok, ¿qué más? Ok, creo que ya ese párrafo es el que es, ¿verdad? Right. Ok, ya. Yes. Pasamos al que sigue. Lo siguiente. Script. Script. Ok, dice. La sangre se tira como un líquido rojo. Cuando tiene una cortada o un script, ¿qué sería un script? Que se refiere a algo que hace la sangre. Cuando se refiere como a cortada, tiene. ¿Sería un raspón? Un raspón, ajá, como un raspón. Cortadas y raspón. ¿No? Uh -huh. Un arañazo también puede ser. ¿Cuál más? This shape. This shape. Okay, la hemoglobina se encuentra en una célula, ¿no? Shape o forma. Disco. Se encuentra en una célula con forma de disco llamada red blood cell. Ah, ok. ¿Cuál más? Escaps. Caps. Ok. Dice... Las plaquetas, las plaquetas son las responsables de envolver en la sangre y nos ayudan a decorar los caps cuando eh, nosotros los vestimos y entonces nosotros nos perdemos mucha sangre. Entonces, ¿qué son los caps? Um. Nos ayuda para que ya no se perdamos mucha sangre. Un coágulo. Un coágulo. Un coágulo. Es más como una costra. Ok. Ok. Right. Ok, entonces vamos a contestar las preguntas. Dice, answer the following questions. Based on the reading passage, don't forget to go back to the passage whenever necessary to find or confirm your answers. Okay, tenemos what is the function of the white blood cell? What is the function of the white blood cell? According to the reading. They help us fight the issues. The issues. Help us to fight the disease. Okay. What about how are the organisms and beings alike? Are 
transporting of the blood. Okay. Is it a... Is, um... Es como parecerse, ¿no? Similares. Okay, number three. Based on other information in the passage, what gases are being exchanged in the building? And, uh, carbon dioxide mm -hmm. and oxygen. Ox oxygen. Exactly. Ox carbon dioxide and oxygen. Exactly. Number four. What is the main idea of this passage? Of the circulatory system. Exactly. And the last, number five. What does a model of being do? The... The transport the cells. Um, is the 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 cells are iron rich? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. No. Okay. So yeah, the modeling uh, is a system no, that has iron. No, that has iron. No, the modeling is the system that gives the color red to the red. You see, you have questions, Carmen? No. No. Okay, so if you don't have questions, Carmen, we continue with the next. Give me a second. I'm going to share my screen. So by the moment, are you okay? Yes. Yes, really easy. Uh -uh -uh. Close the slide. Typing. No, I don't have. I have one, okay, so I'm going to show the box in a second. Uh, no. This is the work. Can you see the work? Yes. Okay, entonces vamos a iniciar con la unidad 7, porque ya habíamos terminado las unidades de la 4 a la 6. Yes. Ya habíamos hecho el checkpoint. Entonces vamos a iniciar con la unidad 7, Unit 7, Going Away. In this unit, you learn how to talk about getting, getting ready for a quiz using intuitive exercises. This is a quiz. Okay, okay. Give advice and solutions. Do you want to respond to questions? Use I guess when you're not sure. And in addition, to you, we are going to read an article about a unique habit. So, Okay, before the start, well, before the start the, the unit, we are going to get these images. Now we have here four images, and we have brainstorm, we brainstorm things of trip. And then the most fun places to go on a trip, things you always take on a trip, 
fun things to do on a trip and different ways to travel. So, and all of these we have in a set um, that are related to a trip. Now, for example, in the first image, where do you think they are? Um, some places to go on trip. Okay, so do you think where they are? Where do you think is that place? Or the beach. Okay, yeah, it could be, could be the beach. Okay, so in the, in the number two, uh, obviously it's uh, things you always take on a trip. So tell me, what things do you think that is important to take on a trip? The passport and the ticket to the bus on the plane. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And some cash, no? Money, cash. Yeah. Okay. In the number three, what are they doing? Uh, the camping. Yes, they are camping. Okay, and then the number four, what are they doing? On the travel on the bus, on the train. Okay, okay, yeah. So tell me, Kenya, what do you think are good places to go on a trip? On the beach, on the mountain. Uh -huh. Maybe go to a forest. Yes. Maybe um, go out a uh, magic town in Mexico. No? Yes. What other place do you think is a good idea to go out on a trip? Oh, the um, ocean. On the ocean, okay. And the the city, the um, old city. Okay, an old city could be, yeah. Oh, okay. do you do you like to go on a trip? All the forest. All the forest. And another country, what is the country that you like to visit? To visit. You like to the visit the Canada? To visit Canada. Okay, great, excellent. So tell me about fun things to do on a trip. What do you think are good things that you can do on a trip to get fun? Or the walk in the city, mm -hmm. visit to museums, mm -hmm. or the um, road trip in bike. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, yeah, a very, very good idea. Go out by a bike. Do you know? Um, well, do you know ride a bike? You can ride a bike. Yes. Yes. I I remember that yes, I learned how to ride a bike, but I expect that the longest time that I didn't ride a bike. I mean. The last time that I was on a bike, I think it was when I um, when I was in the high school. So we are talking so so like ten years. Really, ten years that I didn't ride a bike. What about you? Do you ride a bike frequently? No. Frankly, no, it's the. No, the. Um, rally ever? Rally ever. Okay. Uh, what more? Tell me, what more can you do in a trip to get fun? Um, and it's the places famous in the city. Go to a really good restaurant. Yes, it's true. 
Yes. Uh-huh. Um, go in the concert. Uh, go out in a concert, yes, it's true. Yes, or the park. On a park, yes. Yes, all of all of that things are really good things to do. Are really good ideas to do on a trip. So tell me, Kenya, uh, can you send me different ways to travel? Uh, yes, the bus and train and uh -huh. plane uh -huh. or the car uh -huh. or the subway. By bike, no? Bike. Mm -hmm. Motorcycle. Yeah. No? Yes. Yes, take a bus, whatever. Take a taxi. Great, excellent. So, now, we are going to check the lesson A, getting ready. Okay, we have a to-do list, and we have to do. Get a new suitcase and pack. Buy travel size toil toiletries. Go online to search flights. Send flight into Aunt Maria. Take photo ID. Find passport and check on the weather. Okay, so we have a conversation here. So we are going to do the activity one. Green store. Look at Rista's to do list. Okay, well, yeah, well, yeah, we check the the list, uh, the to do list. No, um, la list for her upcoming trip. What are the things do you need to do before a trip? Okay, so what do you think? Eh, sin leer todavía el, este, la conversación, ¿qué otra cosa crees? ¿Qué sería buena agregar a su lista? De cash. Uh -huh. And then... Toda, una lista de cosas que necesitas hacer antes. Antes de un viaje, ¿no? La primera, get a new sweet kiss and back, ok. Buy travel size eh, toy, toiletries, ¿no? Ok, está bien lo del cash, ¿qué más sientes que hace falta para preparar antes de irse de viaje? Um, check the, the security house. Ajá, uh -huh, exactly, check the security house. Um... The pets and check the hotel pets. Uh -huh. Or maybe no take the pets to a pension. No, oh, estas este, ¿cómo se llaman? Pensiones. Eh... Sí, no, se dicen pensiones caninas. No, right? Yes. No, right. O oh, eh. To, to, to call a friend, not to say, oh, hey, I need help with my pet. Can you take, can you um, care, not my pet for a short time? No, maybe to, to get a favor of someone, no? Yes. <laughs> not to take care of your pet. Okay, great, excellent. So now we are going to read it. So can you help me reading Rita and I read Alicia? Yes. Okay. So, are you all packed for your trip? No, I am nowhere near ready. Look at my to-do. Listen, I need to go shopping to get a suitcase. And I still have to go online to find a flight. Uh oh, so is it expensive to fly to Puerto Rico? Or is it easy to find cheap flights? Well, it's not too too hard to find a bargain. Uh -huh. 
you just have to do some research. Research. Okay. Research. Right. So, where are you going exactly? To see my relationship. Relative. Relative in San Juan. Then where I'll go someplace to go snorkeling. Snorkeling. Nice. Sounds like a fun trip. Go. Good luck uh, with your list. Good luck with your list. Thanks. Okay. So, Tony, Kenya, eh, ¿de qué están hablando? Oh, the the travel to the uh -huh. uh -huh. the pendant suitcase uh -huh. to the Rita half. <laughs> Uh -huh. Okay, yes, it's true. Okay, do you have questions, comments about vocabulary? Mm. Sweet case is some pendiente, ¿verdad? Sweet case. Mm, no exactamente. Los pendientes serían como el to do list, ¿no? Pero si sweet case no, dice. Conseguir un nuevo suitcase unpacked. Entonces no vas a conseguir un nuevo pendiente. Más bien se refiere a un este ¿Cómo se llama? ¿Cómo se llama? Eh, maleta. Ok. Entonces conseguir una nueva maleta, ¿no? Y mochila. ¿No? Bueno, ajá. Una, una nueva maleta y una nueva mochila. Pendientes. Eh, como tal pendientes de que te hace falta algo no eh, es este oh se me fue chores no mentira chores es para labores domésticas son pendientes de la casa eh, eh, eh. Well, things that you, know, that you need to do, ¿no? Serían cosas que necesitas hacer. Ok. Buena pregunta. No me, acuerdo, no me acuerdo de ahorita de un sinónimo de pendientes como tal de cosas que necesitas hacer. Pero lo voy a buscar, ¿vale? Entonces, eh, ¿alguna otra duda de vocabulario? My relative, relatives es um, familia. Para mis familiares, exactamente. Okay. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál más? Bar Barguin y Bargain. Bar es como... Puede ser como un descuento. Puede ser como... ¿Cómo le decimos? En vez de decir descuento, decimos... ¿Ganga? Ajá, como una ganga, bargain, ¿no? Eh, no, es tan, no, es tan, no es tan difícil encontrar una buena ganga, ¿no? Ok. ¿Any other questions? No. No. Ok, vale, entonces... Ahora vamos a hacer la actividad que tenemos abajo. Dice circle the correct verb forms to complete the sentences. Use the conversation about to help you. Okay, when you get ready, tell me, okay? Okay.
Okay, entonces, can you see me the answer by the number one? Yes. I'm going to Puerto Rico to see my relatives. Exactly. I'm going to Puerto Rico to see my relatives. Number two. I still have to go online to buy a ticket. I still have to go online to buy a ticket. Number three. Is it a ship to fly to Puerto Rico? Is it exactly because it's a question and number four? It's uh, easy to find a bargain. Bargain. It's easy to find a bargain. Really easy, right? Right. Okay, so if we check the grammar, this is the grammar. I'm going to do it bigger. We have grammar, infinitive for reason. <coughs> it's plus adjective plus two. Okay, so we have here now um, that we can use infinitives for reasons. Now, and the structure to use it, it's first like the it, now the subject, the verb be, now it, plus the adjective, plus two, and next to the two, to continue with the verb and the verb in infinitive. For example, uh, I'm going to Puerto Rico to see my relatives. So you can use this structure you, to give a reason, no? to give a reason. The reason no, is, uh, yo voy a ir a Puerto Rico para ver a mis parientes. Entonces, cuando yo quiero dar una razón de algo, de por qué voy a hacer algo, Yo utilizo esa estructura, ¿no? It's plus adjective plus two, ¿no? Por ejemplo, la siguiente. Eh, I need to go shopping to get a sweet case. I have to go online to find a flight. O, um, y you can use it's plus adjective plus two to describe a verb. For example, is it expensive to fly? It's easy to find a cheap flight online. Is it easy to find a bargain on light? Y cuando nosotros no queremos describir el verbo, no utilizamos it is expensive to fly. Más bien, is it expensive to fly? No. Es importante colocar el it. ¿Vale? ¿Es caro volar? Is it expensive to fly? ¿O es caro eh, ir, uh, ajá, andar en avión, ir en avión? Is it expensive to fly? Vale, entonces tenemos dos usos. The first use to infinitives for is to give a reason. No, to give reasons. And the other use is to describe a verb. Do you have questions, comments about this grammar? No. No, this is really easy. So, uh, we have here in the box in conversation, the top five adjectives in the instructor it's to or hard. Nice, easy, good, and important. So these are the most common adjectives that you usually can find using this structure. So now we are going to do the activity. It is 8.54. Okay. We really are going to do the activity, the number one. In the activity, the number one. Okay. Complete the conversation, the number one. Using the structure that we learned today, okay?
They are ready to check. Okay. So can you say me the answer, please? I'm go to. I'm going to go to Tokyo to study Japanese next month. I'm staying with a family on exchange program. I just got my visa. Wow. So is it uh, necessary necessary to learn some Japanese before you? Uh -huh. Japanese. Exactly. Is it? Is it? Porque en este caso es pregunta. Is it necessary to learn some Japanese before you go? Okay, dice, well, yeah. Well, yeah, it's um, uh, nice to say thank you and thanks. Uh -huh. It's important. To know a few expression, I think yeah. so. I want to get a phrases book to read on the plane. Exactamente, no. It's nice to say thank you. It's important to know a few expression, and I want to get a, f a phrase book, phrase book to read. Vale, entonces. A pesar de que, por ejemplo, I want to get a phrase book to read y tienes como dos tus ahí, son importantes colocarlos. El primer tu que le pusimos es porque tenemos dos verbos, ¿sí te acuerdas? Yes. ¿No? Y luego el segundo tu es para dar la razón de por qué quieres hacerlo. ¿No? Entonces, eh, a pesar de que suene repetitivo, Aquí en el inglés de cierta manera es válido, ¿vale? Ok. Ok, porque, o sea, lo, lo digo porque a veces en el inglés, en el español, por ejemplo, está mal visto poner i, 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 o colocar, eh, ¿por qué, por qué, por qué, por qué, no? Como que siempre buscamos omitirlo, pero aquí en el inglés, en el caso del to, es necesario colocarlo, ¿vale? Yes. Ok, facilísimo. ¿Dudas, preguntas? No. No, ok. Entonces, si no hay dudas, si no hay preguntas, vamos a terminar la clase por el día de hoy y continuamos mañana con los ejercicios restantes. ¿Hasta aquí cómo vamos? ¿Quería bien, más o menos? Eh, bien. Bien. Ok, vale. Entonces, si no hay dudas, no hay preguntas, nos vemos en la siguiente clase. A lo mejor y también leemos otro ratito y continuamos con más ejercicios, ¿vale? Ok. Ok, see you. See you. Take care. Bye.